what's up everybody? It's your boy Jay coming back at you from the Yankee and the Brit Sports Talk. Today I just wanted to break down some news that came out because if I keep posting everything in the page, you probably get sick of everything showing up in your feed. All right, well let's start out with the Vikings traded Stephen Weatherly to the Broncos. The Broncos will receive Weatherly and a 2023 seventh round pick. The Vikings will receive a 2022 seventh round pick. They pretty much swap years in the seventh round pick with the Broncos getting Weatherly. But for the Vikings, it's not a bad move. You already got Everson Griffin, Daniil Hunter, DJ Wanham. You got young guys coming up that you're trying to get some playing time. Weatherly, when he was re-signed, made a lot of sense. But now that that line is so deep, they're number one in sacks. The Vikings are number one in quarterback pressures. It's time to try to get something and save some money on Steven Weatherly. Other rumors in the NFC North, the Green Bay Packers might be trading for Brandon Cooks? It's what I hear. It's what I've been reading also. That would be a huge addition for the Green Bay Packers, putting another legit receiver on the other side of Devontae Adams. I know they got some young guys with Scantlin and um, guys over there in Green Bay that can step up, but those guys would be better at a third wide receiver than they would at a number two. You bring in an actual another number one to put next to Devontae Adams, it makes the Packers really tough, makes that offense even better, and it's just going to open up more lanes for Aaron Yes, officer, I have marijuana, Jones. So the Packers will be really tough if they do that and add Brandon Cooks to their team. Also, I was dying today. It was a really good game to watch. But to watch Illinois beat Penn State, seventh-ranked Penn State, in nine overtimes was ridiculous. All those mixed, missed two-point conversions, the fact that Penn State couldn't put this team away, and the fact that Penn State let that scumbag Brett Bielema have a win. All right, yeah, I called him a scumbag because as a Badger fan, I didn't have a problem with him leaving. I had a problem with the shit he said on the way out the door calling Arkansas a better job. So every time Brett Bielema loses, makes me feel good inside. All right, guys, that's just some of the news I wanted to break down for you that's coming up this weekend so that I don't just keep flooding your page with shit from Yankee and the Brit. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy tomorrow's football. Ain't the best matchups in the world. There's some huge point spreads if you're a gambler. Get in there. I know that people always say take the underdog and those huge point spreads, but I don't know about that Texans game. That's all I'm going to say. All right, guys, one world, one love. Deuces.